Every time I go on holiday, my wife gets pregnant. I think I'll take her with me next time. <laughs> Get better all. Get better I did one in Sheffield last week for the A.N.D. That's the National Dyslexics Association. I got down there, this fella come up and he goes, Hey, who are you? I said, I'm the comedian. He says, go on then, change colour. Jet Stone is an awesome comedian and he's a knockout. Before we get started, I notice we've got one or two ladies in the room tonight and I don't want to offend the ladies. There might be one or two four-letter words come out in the next half an hour that might upset you. Wash, cook, iron. <laughs> Do we? Hey, I bought her a fur coat made out of hamster fur. Took her to Skegness, I couldn't get her off the big wheel. <laughs> Hi there, I'm Sugar Ray Hunter, and Jess Stone is a great comedian. It's funny too. Right? All these questions. Okay, boys and girls, can anyone tell me what comes after a sentence? A little scouse kid put his hand up, he went, Em! <laughs> An appeal. <laughs> Welcome to the show, son. Fantastic. Three, two, one, you're back in the room. <laughs> I hope when I die and I slip off this mortal coil, I hope I go peacefully in my sleep like my uncle, mate. I'm not screaming and shouting like his passengers. <laughs> I think it's only fair, don't you, mate? Jed Stone is unbelievable! Unbelievable, Jed! Jed Stone, he also came to my charity Marie Curie Tenerife Golf Tournament and did a fantastic job on the night. Thanks, Jed. Brought a tear to my eye, this pal. Tear to my eye! White sheet, paint on this white sheet, it said, Happy 30th birthday, Grandma. <laughs> 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 you can't win, can you? He came up on school last week says, Dad, get here, Dad. You want to see the new teacher at school? Oh, she's like that. I said, big boobs? He says, no, Dad. Arthritis. Jed Stone is a very funny man. No questions. As my friend John Conti will tell you, Back in Liverpool, we're not very religious, we don't like them Jehovah's Witnesses. We don't like any witnesses. <laughs> Coming from Liverpool, I'll be honest, I've just started divorce proceedings. I've, uh, I've got married. <laughs> she ruined the stack night, she was in the film. <laughs> We try hard. I upset the wife last week because I wouldn't open the car door. I thought, bugger it, I just swam to the surface. <laughs> Simple thing, we try and keep the marriage alive, try and keep the spark in the marriage. Me and my wife argue about two things and two things only. We argue about sex and money. I'm sure she's charging me too much. <laughs> She walks in the room, she says, the room's lovely, the room is lovely, but that picture on the wall's horrible. It's got to go. That's a, that's a mirror. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jimmy Greaves, and uh, as you know, it's a funny old game. But then Jeb's a funny old man. I said, let him drive my car. She says, absolutely. Where are my clothes? She says, yeah, of course I would. I said, you wouldn't let him use my golf clubs, would you? She says, no, he's left-handed. <laughs> <laughs> I went in the front room, I got myself a can of lager. I thought, I'll sit and watch a bit of football. I've not been watching the football more than 10 minutes. She comes in, starts on me. Are you going to be watching football all night? I said, yes. I said, don't you think you should get out of that chair and go and fix the washing machine door? I said, no. She said, I think you should. Get out of there. Fix the washing machine door. I said, excuse me, have I got Hot Point tattooed across my head? She went out. Come back ten minutes later. Still there then, are you? I said, yes, I am, yes. Watching the match. She said, how about a bit of varnish on that back door? I said, excuse me, have I got Ron Seal tattooed across my head? I've had enough. I thought, I'll go to the pub and watch the football there. I come back two hours later. Absolutely true. I come back two hours later. All the jobs are done. The washing machine door's fixed. The back door's been varnished. So who's done the jobs? 
She said, oh, Bob coming from next door. Fixed them all. I said, it cost a packet, that. She said, oh, no, I'll come to an agreement with him. I said, I'll make his favourite cake for him, or I'll sleep with him. I said, oh, what cake did he make? She said, have I got Mr Kipling tattooed? <laughs> You know, what's your name, young man? Jacob. Jacob, top name, Jacob. I like that. You must be crackers. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>